All right, so I'm a little nervous here because this was going to be a post and I got a little passionate in the post and decided to share it as a quick live because uh, I'm real tired of keeping my mouth shut. And if you know me, first of all, I want to make sure I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm not one that is quiet, but I've kept quiet about this for too long. Um, and this may ruffle some feathers, and I'm so totally okay with that. Um, because it's time that you hear what you need to hear, not just what you want to hear, when it comes to diet and weight loss. Because not only do we deserve better, but our kids deserve better. So real quick side story here of why this came out. Because what I was writing about was how, you know, like I have struggled with, and this could get emotional here, with um, body image. No matter what size, shape, or form I came in, um, I have struggled with food being the enemy and exercise being punishment. And I saw it, how it reflected those around me. Not only that, but um, it literally jacked up my health on way many levels. Yes, losing weight is healthy. Here's what you need to hear on that. That's bullshit, okay? This is why I'm extremely passionate and now uncensored about it because I give zero Fs. I'll, I'll censor those words right now, but if you go listen to my podcast that I posted this morning, it's not going to be censored. Um, it is time we stand up against the BS that is out there in diet land, against the false promises that they are putting out there for us to buy into because they prey on our insecurities. And it is time for us to stand up and stop this MFing cycle for our daughters. Because the eating disorder rate in the younger group of kids is so skyrocketing now because of all the bullshit, yeah, I'm going there, uncensored, that is out there in social media. It's everywhere you turn. And if we as parents, as mothers, are doing that same stuff, they're watching us. That needs to stop. Before your child is the one whose health has been completely jacked up. may look great on the outside, right? I fit the part, but the inside of me was what was struggling. Low calories, 1,200 calorie diets, putting in the extra workouts, fat burners, meal replacement shakes, diuretics, you name it, it went in my body. I won't even tell you the garbage that's in them because we think that they're healthy, right? We're promoting that they're healthy. We're promoting that replacing calories sustainable food we're, we're promoting that replacing food which has calories which is energy with liquid is healthy because we'll be skinny and we'll be happy happiness is a feeling and it doesn't come from the scale we are slowly slowly killing ourselves and i know this because i've watched it firsthand by people not making changes right by thinking that the changes they made were healthy because that's what's been shown out there and these habits these thoughts around this right create our habits how healthy are they when we're continuing to continuing to run to something that is jacking our health up even more when you know better you do better and i cannot keep quiet about this anymore uncensored right uncensored pulling back the curtains going through on letting out some of the experiences that I've gone through, that I've seen family members go through, that I've watched clients go through, and how they have changed it. Because the mindset around it changed. I work so deeply with my clients on that. The mindset around that changed. I had to work on it very deeply with myself and still do. So it's not like, snap my fingers and it's done, right? Ooh, ooh. I mean, hey, you have this this uh, commercial that shows you're so happy after you lose the weight, but but... Again, pulling the curtain back. <sighs> Certainly they're going to work short term, right? You are going to see results short term. But the majority of the population of women, which is about 90, probably 8% right now, um, will see the weight come back. 
we'll see then again when they continue to do this cycle or what this one's doing or what that one's doing because it worked for them their health will slowly deteriorate on many levels we can look the part on the outside we're chasing this external look and internally we are ruining a lot of things um, because when we're on them for so long and we continue on them and if you're my age I don't care I'm 46 I'm not gonna lie about it right if you are my age you have been doing this for more than half your life because if now they're starting at 10 and 11 years old with this roughly my group of people 14 15 half of, more than half of our lives how much longer do you want to struggle with it we always somehow run back to what got us stuck in the first place because it's packaged differently with different bells and whistles and a different color bow and it's the new shiny thing that everybody's hashtagging out there that they're doing right however after years of doing it the shitstorm will hit maybe it hasn't hit for you yet and it could hit on a multitude of different levels and sometimes we don't see it um, let's start with where it started with me my thyroid function just thought Hey, whatever, right? No big deal. Thyroid function, which then slows down your metabolism. Which, if we're, and I'm not going to do this on every little bit here, but if you think about it, if it slows down your metabolism, you may start to gain weight. And then habitually, what do we do? We go to a diet, which was doing what? Messing up my thyroid and my metabolism. And then making me not like my body because I felt it was this, that, or the other many different levels right they increase stress on the body which then puts our hormones in a tornado of WTF I did a whole webinar on this if you want access to that let me know because that's huge ladies this is huge um, it causes us to eat much less than our body needs to function than our cells, our cells, like we're like the science experiment and we're not giving it what it needs, right? And that often leads to binge eating and then the emotions of all that. And then again, we feel we need to go back to that habit of we better go on a diet. So maybe there's some habits, maybe there's some beliefs and thoughts that need to change and mindsets, right? They steal our energy and rob us of the joys of eating. That one gets me. I didn't want to eat Dairy Queen with my kids because it would make me fall off the wagon. Fuck, they want s'mores again. How dare them? What the hell kind of mom is that? Who am I for them if that's how I was thinking? If that's what I was, if that was, if that is what my vibe was putting out there. No. No, my weight loss journey has never affected any relationship with anybody anywhere along the way. Think a little deeper. Think a little bit deeper and watch that slap you in your face. So yeah, it robs you of a lot of things. Um, I actually was putting a post together on what it did rob me of. So I'm going to leave that for another day because um, I just kind of went into that. <sighs> they leave us believing that if our bodies are smaller, we will be happier. Happy is a feeling. It is not attached to a number of your pants or your scale. I get it. We do feel better when we fit into clothes a different way, but again, different subject for a different day. I am pulling back all these things that they're telling you you're going to get when you purchase their product that is all complete horseshit. Complete. And I know people will disagree with me, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay to agree to disagree. Half of my life I've spent doing this. And since two, I just thought about this right before... Since 2017, it could have been 2016, I have weighed the same. I have ate what I want. I have never gone on a diet. My workouts have not gotten crazy or increased. I've actually probably scaled back a little. Um, and here I am, right? It's every day daisies and butterflies and do I love everything about my body? No, but I'm okay with that because this is the body I have. If I can't love and accept it, mushy squishy flabby with muscles without muscles with pimples without pimples I'm not gonna love it when it's perfect either right I have to start practicing those feelings now because if I think a diet's gonna get me those feelings wrong it's wrong it never did 
It never did. At 118 pounds and like, I don't even remember what low amount of body fat percentage I was, I still didn't. Still didn't love it, okay? So it does. It, it, it also impacts your digestion. Like, can we say poop, constipation, uh, yes, leaky gut. Some of these things that we ingest to help us lose weight or give us uh, appetite suppressants or some of the things that, yeah, I'm going to go there, that doctors prescribe, <clears throat> let me just wring their necks, are causing so many health issues. So think about that. Think about, yeah, I saw results initially, but then I started to feel crappy. And then the weight stopped. And then, uh, you know, I wasn't pooping. And maybe you're not in this boat, right? <sighs> no energy, weight gain, not sleeping, feeling stress, having insane hunger, cravings. This all comes from the crazy restrictiveness that comes with diets. Don't believe me? It's okay. I've experienced it. So when I speak, it's from my education or things I've experienced with myself or my clients. I'm not blowing smoke out of you, uh, out out of my ass, and, and putting a you know curtain over everything and making it fake so you'll buy. Yee, who's going to be the next before and after picture? Because I know that for some people that is a that is an awesome way to keep track, but for others that is destroying a lot of internal things here, right? Because we're searching for something that's not found there. Nobody knows what goes on in between the before and after pictures. So sadly, we get to this point where we think something's wrong with us. Why do we keep failing at this? Oh, we'll just have to try another one because that one worked for me last time or that one worked for me the time before. And we continue to do this over and over again or life happens, right? And it got hard or I couldn't afford the prepackaged meals anymore. If these habits that you are creating right now, healthy, unhealthy, whatever you're thinking they are, cannot sustain life, like I'm gonna wait till vacation's over. I'm gonna, they won't sustain anything. They have to be realistic. They can't be up in this point like where it's messing up your thyroid or slowing down your metabolism and you're taking it up and down and up and down with each new shiny object you jump on. So please, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Can we please stop glorifying and hashtagging these diets and start being real about the damage they're causing not only us, but that next generation. They deserve better. They deserve to love and accept their bodies now. They deserve to understand that from here on out, their bodies are going to forever be changing, right? And that's not to say that we can't work on being stronger, but why is it always they have a nice figure? They are pretty. They, like, do they not get that attention when they're not having those things, right? What was social, what was, I go watch, oh my gosh, Social Dilemma, go watch that. And then put that into what's out there in the diet land and what these young girls are seeing. Even older ones are seeing stuff like that and I just get very angry at it. So that's why I am uncensored. I'm, I'm no longer holding back. I'm no longer going to pretend like these things aren't harming us. Because even if you're seeing results, we don't, like what's going on inside? And I always say, <clears throat> if you've done the same thing from the very first time you thought you needed to lose weight and go on a diet, and you've never gone off of it, because we go on them to go off, admit it, um, please contact me. I want to know what it is you're doing. I want to know, right? Because the real truth of the matter is it's, it's messing with our hormones, our metabolism, our digestion, our gut health, our mind, and our bodily functions. Our bodies need these things and the diet land is telling us not to have them. At the end of the day, you get to make the decision. You get to make the choice. Do I jump on the fun, <clears throat> the wagon that everybody else is on and hope I don't fall off for the 758,000th time? Maybe I could just lose those next 10 pounds and I'll be happy. 
Your thoughts are going to create your habits. And if you are a habitu habitual yo-yo dieter, those are not good habits to keep. They're also not good habits for to pass on. So please keep that in mind. Um, thank you for listening to my little rant. And, um, you know, I'd love to take this conversation further with any one of you. If you're feeling like this is something that you struggle with, don't ever be afraid to reach out. I'm here for you. Right? But it's that decision that has to be made where you understand that everything you've done in the past has you stuck. And maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. And if it doesn't, then you don't even have to worry about this. But it has you stuck. So what, what can you do to get unstuck? Not running back to that. It's damaging. You deserve better. And so does the next generation of females. We need to stop this right now. That's all I have for you guys today. Have a great day, and we'll chat later.